What's up, Internet family? My name is Aya. I am a business coach, author, and international speaker. I talk about business and parenting. I coach parentpreneurs who are juggling business building and parenting, and my consulting firm trains small, medium, and large sales teams in all things selling with a special emphasis on social selling and personal branding. If this is your first time with me, welcome. And if you've been rocking with me, thank you. I'm so happy that you're here. This video is all about best practices practices for parents building businesses. This is the fourth video in the series, so let's get into it. This tip is near and dear to my heart, and it's all about evaluating your starting point and celebrating your wins. Think about being a parent. Remember when your kid was a baby and they first lifted their head and we were like, oh my God, they lifted their head. Or they first started walking. Oh my God, they're walking. Or they first started going to the potty. Oh, they're going to the potty. We celebrated them because we knew what it took to get from that point to that milestone. Of course, two, three, four years later, we're not celebrating them holding their head up or celebrating them going to the potty or celebrating them being able to feed themselves because it's a different point. I want to emphasize that celebrating milestones is key for not just your kids, but for your business. You don't want to rob yourself of celebrating those milestones because you're comparing your business to someone else's business at a different stage. Yes, we're not celebrating a 12 year old going to the bathroom by themselves, but we are celebrating a two year old doing that. <laughs> That's a big celebration. And so many times I see my parentpreneurs, they will think that they shouldn't celebrate this milestone because they'll look at another business that maybe is 12 years old and they're like, well, I shouldn't celebrate it. That's so silly, look at them. And it's like, no, you should celebrate it because you're actually two years old. <laughs> You want to acknowledge where you started from and intentionally celebrate every single milestone. Acknowledge where you started from. Your starting point is yours. Only you know what you had to overcome. Only you know why it's important. Only you know why it's a celebration. And no one else can really know. Even whatever we see on the outside, we don't really know what it took to get there. You have to be intentional about celebrating your milestones in your business. Be intentional about celebrating those things and be intentional about understanding, not comparing yourself. Where you are now is not where you were and where you are going is not where you are now. <laughs> that is so important because you could say to yourself, I could be there, but is it even realistic that you would be there or have you been spending too much time on social media? When I first started my coaching business, I had zero clients. Yes, a zero, zero, <laughs> but that's normal when you first start, right? <laughs> and when I got my first client, I definitely celebrated. And now fast forward some years later, fast forward many clients later, many businesses help later. I still celebrate every client. I still celebrate every client that signs on. I still celebrate every client that is happy because guess what? My clients allow me to live the life I want. That's something worth celebrating. When I wrote my first book, I celebrated. When I had my first speaking gig, I celebrated. And every speaking gig, every book thereafter, it's time for celebration. Do not underestimate the power of celebrating milestones. Do not underestimate the power of not comparing yourself to other people. And take note that this journey that you're on is unique and special to you and your family. Just like your kids are unique and special and no other kids are like them, and they might have similar experiences as other children, but they have their own unique thing going on, so do you and your business. Keep that in mind. That's it for us with this series on best practices for parents building businesses. My name is Aya, I'm a coach. I'm a consultant, I'm an author, I'm a speaker. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me at aya at ayagbuho.com. You can visit my website at www.ayagbuho.com. If you're interested in working with me, DM me. If you're watching this, then please follow me, subscribe, like, do all those things. And most importantly, share this video with another parent that you know that is building their business and you think they could benefit from the information. I love you all so much. I will see you next time. Talk to you soon. Bye.